Hi, I'm Baz. I'm the producer of The Drift uh, and it's been a while since uh, my last diary. I've been away on a on a works job, so uh, that's obviously delayed reasons why I haven't done some diaries recently. However, I'm back uh, and more importantly, I have stayed in contact with uh, the post-production team uh, and I've started doing some sort of rough cuts uh, of some of the scenes. Um, had uh, a couple of meetings now online with the guys. The first one was done by Matthew uh, and the guys themselves. I was away, and now we've had uh, a second one which I was able to attend, which is brilliant. Starting to get to know the guys a bit more. Some of them I've worked with before. Some of them are, you know, are, are new. So uh, that's been really good. Um, starting to sort of uh, flesh out the the issues that have um, sort of been building up in terms of. Um, how we're going to actually produce the visual effects, the order in which we're going to produce the effects and, uh, and stuff like that. So yeah, that's been, um, it's been uh, good from, from that point of view. Um, we still obviously now need to start actually producing some, so um, trying to sort of break them in gently as it were. Some of the guys have already been sort of sending some stuff which is, which is good, um, some sound effects to score, to um, some sort of anim animations of, of CGI and stuff like that. So, um, and that's been really good because at the moment, so far, I haven't really given much direction on on, on that, which is it's not good. Um, but it's been kind of deliberate because I need to sort of get a lot of things sorted. And on a production where you've got not many people producing a very big project, then you know you have to prioritise. So uh, that's been uh, of, of of value. So what's been happening more recently? Well, okay, so we've started looking at. And the different types of visual effects that need to be done, and then the order in which they that we need to uh, work those out. Um, and what I've said it really is that we need to start producing some of the sort of like building the sets of the of the uh, the, the production of the CGI elements. So that would be the, uh, um, the the spaceships themselves, and start working out how we're going to do that, um, and start seeing some results. Let's start building the, the drift of ships. But also, what I've done is try, so, so much give inspiration, but give an idea of a flavour of what we're going for. Is start to produce some sort of very rough cuts of some of the scenes, and one of them's showing at the moment, which is extremely rough. Um, no, no story there really. It's just one of the action sequences of the movie, um, of for them to look at and get an idea of how uh, how it's going to to look and try and give them some ideas about how they can make it better. You know, what that'd be great if I had a shot of this happening, and then and start thinking about whether what the ship's going to do because you've got the, the the main ship, the deliverance flying around, you've got the drift itself and it flying through the drift and what could happen inside that that scene, that sequence. Um, so that's um, that's sort of where we are with it. Matthew and I are going to meet up and start looking at uh, um, sort of the workflow of stuff, and starting to work on a, on each like a pocket of scenes like this one uh, as like a mini project. And, and look at all the things we need to actually generate that into a uh, into a, a, a draft cut. So um, what we've got at the moment with this scene is something that's about seven and a half minutes long, but actually the scene in its final form will probably be about four and a half minutes. Um, so it's about trimming down and and identifying um, what bits are good and all that kind of stuff. So and the visual effects are very much part of that. One of the problems that we could we can come across is that. Where we, whereas with like with live action, you you might do a scene um, several times uh, with your actors to get it right. Um, when it comes to visual effects, it's not easy just to say we'll do it again, but this time more slowly. You know, um, it requires more planning, and if if you don't uh, plan properly, then you can waste a lot of time. But at the same time, we don't want to fall into the trap where just because it's taken someone a long time, we're going to have to use the shot. Um, that's that's not good either. So it's kind of a, sort of a balance between the two, uh, and that's where discussion comes into it. Working as a group, um, talking about styles, storyboards, low resolution versions that we can all look at and see if we like or not, uh, and, and and go from there. So sort of combining all of that is sort of what we're, what we're sort of fast approaching. Um, it's it's really now the time to start seeing some results and. And the results, I don't mean final shots, but I mean something, you know, okay, well, we're, let's see the deliverance, let's see the the drift, let's see these other ships, you know, we'll, let's start building up this universe that, you know, that this film takes place in, so um, that's that's quite important. 
on the edit side, um, uh, logging still continues, obviously with thousands and thousands of clips to go through, then that, that continues, but it's getting there, Sue's doing a really good job sending me stuff, and it's enabling me to start doing some sort of rough cuts of, of stuff that, um, so we can then push that out to the visual effects guys. Uh, so that's good too, um, and now that I'm back, back at home, I can start working on more of that and start generating some really good stuff, because there's some complex edits. Um, this is very simple stuff we're doing at the moment, but it will become quite complex um, in terms of cutting in and out, combining visual effects. Um, we've got other types of shots as well, um, uh, which I don't want to give too much away, but there are other types of shots in the film that we also need to um, incorporate as well. So uh, that's going to make things more complex. Um, and we can't really get into that until we've done the first level of cut, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. Um, I've also been sorting out sort of an edit workflow of how that works too, so um, making sure that everything is set, so once we crack on, which we're starting to, we don't then have to realise, oh, I've made a massive mistake, and then have to, re to go back and re-edit for the wrong reasons, let's re-edit for the right reasons, so, so that's been happening. Uh, nothing's really happened much in the studio, where all the stuff is, it's all still, still there, um, well, because I've been away, probably, uh, so obviously nothing's going to happen there for now. Um, so I think, as I said before, I think May would be the, sort of the beginning of the sort of post-production post process, and it's it's May now, so that will be the indicator, um, and that's about right because you know in 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 two days I've already cut two scenes, um, as in just rough, very rough cuts, um, extreme rough, um, just to get a flavour. So I've done that already, in, in, you know. So you know in a week's time I've done some more and, and so on, and, and hopefully that will manifest into more productivity on the visual effects side as well. So. Um, it's going good. Uh, it's interesting. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, so far, you know, I watched the scene uh, behind me with some music, um, sort of, some of the sort of temp tracks of stuff. I'm sort of thinking of styles, and it was really good. You know, obviously it needs a lot of work, clearly. But obviously, as the director and the, and the, and the producer, and having written the story, you know, I know what's happening and why it's happening, and so. Although I only see one bit on the screen and I hear a certain type of music, the brain's filling in all the gaps that, that I know that needs to that will, will go into that shot ultimately. So I probably see more than most people at this stage. But I suppose that's the idea of making a good movie, isn't it? You have to obviously fill in all the blanks for everyone to see at the end. So um, so that's good. Um, very very pleased uh, with how it's going, and we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and hopefully by then we'll have some some temporary shots or at least some models of ships we can start looking at, you know, and shortlisting as to which ones will be the main drift sh ships and which ones will be the ones in the background and all that kind of thing, so that's good, all good. <laughs>